Welcome back, bro. What is value? Because you see this term being thrown around everywhere, like create value, be valuable. Um, value equals monetary growth. All of this stuff, like, but what is value? I'm going to get into it today because value is, it has like two parts. It is like something you value, something you find valuable, and in both, in like in two parts, it's like it's monetary gain, and it's also like emotional and social gain. Because if you're a high value man, you're valuable by other people. That doesn't mean that you give them um, monetary value, but you're just valuable. So it's like either you're getting gain in some type of human activity like me and you we met and you find me valuable because of the things i speak about you met me online and you think oh he's valuable because of the things he's saying i I relate to that but if you would have bought my product you would have been valuable to me because you gave me monetary gain so it's basically it's like close to two ways to define uh, like the outcome of value it's either that you, you think something is valuable because of like social and ethical and morality and, and actions that are done uh, in like the human experience, but also valuing like monetary gain, like financial gain, like physical gain. What do you gain from, from being there? Like if I get you in shape, if I get you jacked, I'm extremely valuable to you. Then you will say, oh, he's extremely valuable to me. But... If you make me, if you make me fifteen hundred bucks a month, I will say he's extremely valuable to me because see how much money I made this month by working with him. So that's the thing. Like, but what what defines the value? What makes something valuable? So the first thing I want you to think about is if you want to define value and if you want to really understand what the value is, I want you to think about one word more than the value, and that is scarcity. If something is scarce, it is valuable. Now, in every single metric, it isn't. If I have dog poop, and I have the only dog poop in the world, I have eradicated all dog poop. There is no dog poop left. But I only have one dog poop. It isn't that valuable. Let's be honest. Like, that one last dog poop isn't valuable. So something has to be valuable uh, before it's scarce. You get that, right? Like, if something isn't valuable, scarcity won't make it more valuable. Like, you, 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 water is valuable, and if I had the last cup of water, it would be extremely valuable, right? What type of price would people pay for the last glass of water? Now, you can say people would know they would die, but yes, Bill Gates would probably pay me millions, if not billions of dollars for that last glass of water so he could live longer, so he could feel better, Right? That's valuable because you have the scarcity. But if I just stand on on like the, in the middle of the capital and I stand there and I'm like holding a glass of water and everyone has access to water. Like there, there is no scarcity for water. There is no scarcity for a, a, a valuable product. Then you're not going to want to buy it. You're going to look at me. You're probably going to laugh. You're probably going to... If I stood there and there was no water left in the world, I would probably be attacked by a group of people for that water. So that's like the thing with with scarcity. And scarcity, that increases value. How can you as a business person make more money by providing value with scarcity? If you say that there is only 48 hours left of my deal. That's scarcity. Scarcity of time equals value. In your monkey brain or your lizard brain, in your human brain, that just, you don't, you don't hear it work, but it's just, it's the biggest part of your brain. Just like the dumb part of your brain, just talking like, um, 
man from the Stone Ages, like a Neanderthal, he's going to say, oh, 48 hours, I will lose this chance, FOMO, 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 buy, 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 it's a great, uh, it's 50% off, plus it's 48 hours left, it's scarce. But maybe you don't want to put a clock in someone's face. The thing you can do is like, let's say you have 10,000 units of a product. The only thing you have to do is just take a zero out of the equation and say you only have a thousand of the units. If you have a hundred thousand followers on something and you have a thousand or oh, ten thousand units and you want to sell them, just say, hey, I have a thousand units. Now people will say, oh, so he, only a percentage of his followers will be able to buy this. Well, that's valuable because that's scarce. And I will lose, I will miss out on this opportunity, FOMO, 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 fear of missing out. I don't want to miss out. I don't want regret because regret is like the worst feeling in the world, like one of the worst feelings in the world. Regret, regretting something. And regret is always, uh, what can I say? It's always your fault. The regret is like the one of the one things in the world you can never put on anyone else or there's some people that will say yeah, like you made me do that decision okay but you still did that decision it was you so you're the reason for your misery and that's why regret is like such a hard thing that's why everyone is afraid of regret and in 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 the sales process on the website like you have to like play on that regret like uh you have to be like okay if someone slides into your funnel and start chatting with you and they want to buy your program and they're starting to talk about, oh, I, uh, blah, 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 blah. You're just like, okay, have you done something that you regret before? Yeah, about this, this is not regretted. Okay, but these are, these are exceedingly more valuable than that and you're going to regret. So you're going to regret doing something the last time and that's going to make you not do this buy-in on this program, which are also going to give you regret so regret is like a hard hard like piece of human nature that you have to like overcome but other ways of scarcity is is you have like a time you have like different units uh, and also if the market is smaller like if if you are the only competitor or there's three competitors it's better than if you have 500 competitors like everyone has toilet rolls. I can go now 10 meters from my apartment and buy toilet rolls. But Bugattis or Rolexes, that's exceedingly valuable because it's not everywhere. Rolex did this really good. What is the difference with a Rolex and a Psycho? With the watches. What is the difference with buying a Psycho watch and buying a Rolex? Well, the Rolex... If you want it, if you want a new Rolex and a new cycle, the new cycle you can buy in like nearly damn near every shop that sells watches. They are oversaturated, they're inflated. But Rolex says you can go to a place that sells Rolexes and you might not be able to buy it because you're not off value. Your value makes you not be able to buy it even. So that's like a big difference. And they, they have applied scarcity to that commodity. I want to get a little bit controversial at the end of this video right now. Because I've like talked about scarcity. How we can imply scarcity to make things more valuable. What value is. So when we're talking about be valuable, increase value and everything. You should go for it and, and be valuable. This is what we're talking about. Find a place where you are more scarce, where your service is more scarce. Imply scarcity to your services, to your products. You know, understand what value is. But this is also why body count matters for like women. Because if something isn't scarce, it is, isn't valuable. If a 500 men has had you before me, it isn't valuable. If 20 people have had you before me, it isn't valuable. Because everyone can get it, right? What Am I such a great man if you gave it for free at the club? At the club bathroom, you gave slop top for free. Then it isn't valuable. Scarcity makes something valuable. So if you have a huge body count, not even huge. You, you, you fucked eight guys before me. 
I'm going to be honest with you, like, how am I the best guy? Because you gave it for free at the club. You gave it for free to two people at the club at the same time. So, there's no scarcity there. And that's make, that makes it like exceedingly less valuable. That's why a Bugatti is more valuable than a Ford. There's like under a hundred Bugattis in the world and there's probably millions of Fords in the world. If not, I don't know, but if not hundreds of millions of Fords in the world. So it's value. Value is completely linked to scarcity. So that's like the first thing you have to do is just read about the value and scarcity and understand that when you look at something, don't just think value, 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 but things like scarcity. Because a lot of people can find an OnlyFans girl with a hundred plus body count valuable to them. They might be sims and think that's valuable to me. But if they thought about it in scarcity, they would say, okay, this is, this is dirt. This is grass. Everyone can have this. Like, it's free to take. And that is what value is. Value is completely and utterly linked to scarcity. And scarcity in, uh, makes value. And the value and scarcity are linked. And your value increases with scarcity. So, if you like this video, you should like it so more people can see it. If you dislike it, you should dislike it so less people have to see it. You should subscribe to be a part of it because to follow the journey. You should comment down below what you think value is. What is your definition? Do you disagree with me? Don't censor yourself even if it's good or if it's bad. You should subscribe to be a part of it because to follow the journey. You should share this with someone who might need this, who might work on something that can they can use the tip that I gave in this video to increase the value of their products and services. Take care, brother. Stay awake, not walking.